After the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, concerns over the structural integrity of aging bridges moved to the state and local levels. KOIM Sonia Box sat down with county road and bridge superintendents in both Kansas and Missouri to see where they stand. Uh, we have the most storm water drain off in the entire state in Cherokee County. I believe it has to do with the two rivers. We're in the very corner. Cody Zook is referring to the Neosho and Spring Rivers and all of their creeks and tributaries that call for hundreds of culverts and 234 county maintained bridges. The Cherokee County Road and Bridge Superintendent says each of those bridges is inspected yearly. Our department goes on those bridge inspections. Whatever they tell us needs addressed first, those, those are the ones that get addressed first. Like replacing the 1935 Brush Creek Bridge on East Country Road just past the Cherokee County Jail. It had a safety issue. It was misaligned and it was structurally getting unsound. According to the Kansas National Bridge Inventory, in 2022, inspectors marked 17 of Cherokee County's county-maintained bridges as poor. Inspection records reveal similar numbers for neighboring counties in southeast Kansas, with Bourbon County slightly higher. It has 31 listed in poor condition. It gets more traffic, so that's how we try to run it. Zook says his goal is to address one bridge every year, and most of the time it's an 80-20 split, with KDOT paying 80 percent and the county the rest. I think they call it a little split. Across the state line in Jasper County, 40 bridges are in need of attention. I met Jasper County Highway Department Superintendent Bob Burris in Sarcoxy, where he says engineers are developing a plan to replace the Joplin Street Bridge. In the meantime, he's keeping his crew focused on the 560 miles of road the county maintains. We have a lot of ag and agricultural uh, activities in Jasper County. We have uh, dairy farms and turkey farms and, and those folks still need to come and go and get out of there. Aside from Mother Nature, Burris says the cost of materials is one of his biggest challenges. We gone from approximately $50 a ton for asphalt pre-COVID to now it's 60 plus dollars a ton. Zook says he can relate. He's in charge of maintaining 1,300 miles in his county. 301 that are paved. I met a guy that had seven in his county and I was so jealous <laughs> because all of ours are fouling and they didn't have a plan and we're trying to build a plan. Part of that plan includes maintaining the highest traveled road that the county is responsible for, Old 96 from 69 Highway to the Missouri state line where MoDOT takes over. The Kansas portion of the highway has four bridges, including this 90 year old one. Inspection reports show more than 2,500 vehicles drive over it every day. I feel that we are right on track to where we need to be. Uh, we are in a growing uh, phase, I would say. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to do, but if citizens just bear with us, we'll, we'll make it through. I'm not a person that believes in higher taxes to get the job done. So reporting in the four states, Tanya Bach, KOAM News. In 2020, Cherokee County spent $3.6 million maintaining its roads and bridges. $1.75 million went to road and bridge maintenance, while $425,000 was spent on construction costs, including roads and culverts.